Hey there, night owls. Ever wondered why the woods aren't the best place for a midnight stroll? Well, let me tell you about the two kinds of creatures that own the night alpha wolves and sigmas. First off, let's talk about those alpha wolves. These fellas are the top dogs, literally. They strut around with their heads high, their jaws ready to snap, and they can pull more girls than a country boy at a hoedown. They're smooth operators, but don't be fooled. They're as dangerous as a rattlesnake in a boot. Now, if you thought the alphas were bad, wait till you meet the sigmas. By day, they're those cool, mysterious guys who barely say a word. They're like the Clint Eastwoods of the human world. But come nightfall, they turn mean and angry. Think of them like werewolves, but without the fur. They're unpredictable, and trust me, you don't want to cross paths with one after sundown. The woods at night are like a twisted social experiment. Alphas dominate with their confidence and charm, while sigmas lurk in the shadows, waiting for the right moment to unleash their fury. It's like a bad horror movie, but this time, you're the star. So what's the moral of this story? Stay out of the woods at night unless you want to be the next topic of a campfire ghost story. Between the alpha wolves and the sigmas, it's a no man's land out there. And if you ever do hear a rustling in the bushes, don't look back, just run. Because in the battle of alphas and sigmas, there are no winners, only survivors. Thanks for watching, and remember, the woods aren't just full of shadows, they're full of nightmares waiting to happen. Stay safe, y'all. Before we dive deeper into the nightmarish woods, let's talk survival tactics. Edging, gooning, and gooing can increase your chances of survival. These might sound like bizarre terms, but they're crucial for staying alive when the night is filled with alpha wolves, sigmas, and the dreaded skibidi toilets. Edging is all about maintaining control and staying just on the edge of your limits. When you're in the woods, this means keeping your wits sharp and your senses heightened. Don't let fear push you over the edge. Stay calm and focused. Gooning is about finding that inner strength and tapping into a primal state of being. It's the mindset of a survivor who can face any challenge. Gooing is the art of blending into your surroundings, becoming almost invisible to the threats around you. Whether it's finding the perfect hiding spot or moving silently through the underbrush, gooing is your ticket to staying undetected. So remember, when you're out in the woods at night, edging, gooning, and gooing aren't just strange words. They're your keys to surviving the chaos and making it back to safety. Now, let's move on to the next chapter of our journey through the night. Now, there's another thing you need to watch out for in the woods at night. The Skibidi toilets. These aren't your ordinary run-of-the-mill toilets. Oh no, these are toilets with heads that start pooping everywhere. Imagine you're already on edge, dodging alpha wolves and sigmas, and then out of nowhere you have to deal with this bizarre menace. Suddenly you hear an unsettling, gurgling sound. You turn your head, and there it is. A skibidi toilet sporting a head, and well, doing its business. The air is filled with an awful stench, and the ground becomes a minefield of unspeakable horrors. It's like a twisted game of dodgeball, but with a lot more at stake. One wrong step, and you're in deep trouble. Quite literally. The skibidi toilets add an extra layer of chaos to an already perilous situation. So, next time you think about venturing into the woods after dark, remember this. It's not just the alpha wolves and sigmas you need to worry about. The skibidi toilets are out there too, turning an already dangerous night into an outright nightmare. Stay alert and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. And remember, the woods at night are no place for the faint-hearted. Until next time, keep your eyes open and your feet moving.